welcome back. Thank you very much for joining us. It's staying on in focus tonight, the EFF, Everton to the Electoral Commission of South Africa, requesting a technical report detailing the time each political party submitted their candidate list. The deadline to submit lists and payments uh, for the upcoming local government elections was at 9 p.m. on Monday. EFF leader Julia Spalema questioned the IEC's transparency during a briefing today. We have nonetheless complied with the Independent Electoral Commission due date and time and submitted all candidates before 9 p.m. on Monday, the 23rd of August, 2021. We are not sure whether all other political parties have complied with the due date, and we have since written to the IEC to demand a detailed technical report on the times each political party submitted candidates for local government elections. We did so because the rules and timetables for elections must be adhered to by all political parties. We call on the IEC to be honest because its independence and autonomy seems to be disappearing under the current leadership. Right, talk to us more about this. We're joined now by EFF Treasurer General Umpile Maudre. Umpile, good to have you again tonight on In Focus. What makes you doubt the compliance of other parties? No, good evening, Tabo, and good evening to the viewers. Um, of newsroom. So it, it becomes doubtful when the IEC, firstly, they extend the deadline. And um, the reason is that there's been requests for the extension of the deadline. We, we've never seen that in the past. I mean, it means that we should actually be worried because even during the elections, uh, on the election day, we know that voting stations are closing at nine. But of course, if people are at the voting station at that time, they will not close them out. But then it means that they can just say, we, we received the request to extend it until midnight, even when at nine o'clock there was no one. So all we want is transparency. All we want is accountability. All we want is free and fairness in the elections. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fair call to ask to say, show us that indeed there were those requests. And I mean, the commander in chief even explained it that even beyond the nine o'clock extension, the system was still up. And then you hear people saying, no, but nine o'clock was for physical, it was not for electronic, but that, that's not what the IEC said. So what exactly did the IEC say and why have they moved from the initial deadline? And let me tell you, if you allow this to happen, it's gonna be very difficult for you tomorrow to because then you must all the requests you must entertain them yeah. and, and i mean it's like you knowing that you are writing an exam at nine o'clock and then they say no we're supposed to finish at 12 but you can extend it to one o'clock yeah. so all other subjects can also come in and say let us not extend our our time so yeah. the iec should have known better that it, it can't it's allowing a room for doubt so they should not have accepted that yeah. but Yes, the system was still up even after nine. And the, 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 expla after the explanation for that was, uh, of course, the, 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 the system was still capturing. It was allowing uh, the uh, upload uh, of, of the information, so capturing. It wasn't about the extension of the submission time. In fact, I think the commissioner said when it was done uploading, they'll go back and look at the system. Uh, if it was not submitted before nine, that will be the cutoff. Anything submitted after that would not be uh, allowed. So, Tavo, I, I did uh, an IT. I, I hold the BSc, the degree in computer science. There's nothing like that. So, when you say the cutoff time for submission of documents is nine o'clock, it must be nine o'clock. Uh, you can't tell me about uploading. So, the capturing the system still allowed for you to capture. And, 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 and the, the, the CEO must not come up with tricks here. They must give us the report. We want to interrogate the report and we want to see that indeed the system did not allow for you to capture. The uploading is something else. But why did the system allow? Because from where I stand myself, it should have kicked me out immediately to say, you cannot access this because you are allowed for capturing. So if it allowed me to and you to log on, then it means we, we were able to then to capture. So it can't be correct, but let the report come. But not only that report, the report that says who are the political parties that requested this extension. Let's start from there. You are saying that the IEC could have possibly fallen 
uh, womb to the uh, political pressure of certain quarters? Yeah, so they must be transparent. The IEC plays a very critical role. You know, this thing can cause civil war trouble. It is not properly managed. And we don't want that. Because the, the fairness of the IEC does not start on the election day. It starts on the process towards the election day. So if from the beginning there's doubt that there's fairness, it creates a lot of problems for all of us. We want to sit with the IEC that we trust fully with our lives that indeed they played a free and a fair role in yeah. the elections of this country. So from the beginning, once we start being doubtful, even along the journey when they, 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 they self-correct and then they do things right, we'll still be doubtful because they, they demonstrated from the beginning that they are not trustworthy. Yeah. So they should have known that they play a very critical role. And who, the role who, who exactly are you accusing of eroding the independence of the IEC? The IEC itself. Why is the IEC allowing itself to, to, to be controlled like that, to be made to postpone its own deadline? Why? You know, the, 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 the last by-elections were postponed by the IEC on a Monday when the by-elections were, were on, a, on, a, on, a, on a Wednesday. And we had warned them that you can't continue the by-elections uh, in this uh, pandemic. And then they, they ignored us. Monday, they postponed on an election that is happening on a, on a Wednesday. That time, you've already closed your campaign. You've done everything. You've spent money. You've done everything. They, 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 they postponed. Now, here we are. They go to court. They approach the court in an attempt to postpone the elections, right? But they don't postpone their own calendar. On, a, on, a, on an item that will just take you four hours to complete, because the, the registration of candidates table is not as cumbersome yeah. as the registration of voters. Yeah. You postpone the registration of voters, that means that you need personnel at each and every VD registering people. You postpone that. But you open a system that says we are, we are, we are, we are, we are submitting the names, the names that could be submitted electronically. Like now, we've submitted the names electronically. So even if the court had come back and said the elections of October 20, 27 October are still going ahead, the IEC needed only four hours to open the system for political parties to register because the process that is cumbersome and tedious is for us as political parties to go and sit and convene 4,468 uh, wards yeah. to nominate the councillor candidates. In a, in, a, in, a, in a room of no less than 50 people. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So we were pressured yeah. to, within seven days yeah. to go and nominate. That is a super spreader on its own. But, but that, that, that's, part of, that's part of the reasons what the commissioner says where there are consideration for postponing the 5 p.m. deadline uh, to, to 9 p.m. because of that cumbersome process of uh, getting community involvement in the selection of the councillors and certain uh, uh, parties no. unable to, to meet that one uh, on time. No, 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 Tabo. I'm saying to you, the tedious process is for you to go to the branch as the political party, right? But once you've nominated, there was no need for us to do this thing now when there's still uncertainty in terms of when are the elections going. So here is the court of law, the constitutional court saying the elections must go ahead um, it will be free and it will be fair. And then the president now opens the country. Because once we go into elections, we can't go into elections still under lockdown level three. It's impossible. Okay. Now the president opens the, 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 the lockdown and then political parties then go and engage. But I'm saying to you, it can't be the war of the IEC. The war of the IEC should be the submission. And the submission can be done within two hours, four hours. We have done it ourselves as the EFF within less than three hours. Yeah. Because you just upload the names on the system. You put them on a spreadsheet. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a desktop exercise. The tedious exercise is of going to nominate, which we were forced now to do it now. And it means that from this, yeah. they've actually declared the elections themselves, the IEC, because there's no turning back. People right. are now have conditions of becoming councillor candidates. They've been nominated, they are on the system, they are registered. So what does it mean? We must then now go and campaign. And the campaign means that we must go and hold those community meetings, those rallies, those door-to-door, -door, 
Those are super spreader yeah. events. Will, will you be doing that process again? Should the courts come in favor of the postponement of the election? Do what? Uh, the process of uh, uh, candidate list and resubmitting, or what you've submitted, that's it. You're not going to change what? that. Well, we submitted. We'll deal with case to case. If there's a, um, a death that happens, and then we'll deal with that case by case. But the list of the EFF has been submitted. 4,468 councillor candidates have been submitted, and the, that process is closed. Umpila, I appreciate your time. We're out of time. Thank you very much for joining us, EFF Treasurer General. There, Umpila Maoje, outlining for us their concerns with the IEC and why they are calling for that technical report uh, to be given to them so that they can address those concerns.